Welcome to Play Digital Signage Tutorials. In this video, I take a closer look at slides and what you should know about slides. Let's open up a playlist. In the slide section, you find slides. Slides in our editor are similar to slides in PowerPoint. In a simple playlist, slides will play one after the other. When slide number one ends, slide number two starts and so on. This is your slide overview. Slides can easily be moved simply by dragging and dropping a slide. We can add a new slide, we can clone a slide, and we can add a slide from any of our templates. Let's go back to slide number one and see what information and options we have. We can remove the slide. This is the name of the slide. This tells us that we have a transition on this slide. This is the duration of the slide. And if we click the pencil, we open up the slide settings. Keep in mind, these settings are for this individual slide. In slide settings, we can set the duration of the slide. We can set this slide to play forever. We can change the name of the slide. We can choose a transition for the slide. And when picking one of the transitions, we have this cool preview of the transition and we can change the duration of the transition. If we open up advanced, we can pause background music. This is particularly useful if we have background music playing in this playlist and if this slide were to play a video. We can also choose what happens when this slide ends. For example, we could choose a random slide or even a specific slide. Let's close advanced and open up slide conditions. Slide conditions are behavioral rules that we can set up for each slide. In our help section, as well as on YouTube, we have a more in-depth tutorial about slide conditions, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. However, let's add a slide condition just to illustrate how that would look. Time range, eight to nine, add. Now we see that we have a slide condition on this slide saying this slide will be running every day between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Let's click save and check out how our slide looks. Here we see that there is a slide condition on this particular slide. The red dot here indicates that the slide is currently not running. If the slide was running, this dot would turn green. And since we set this slide to transition into slide number five, we now see this arrow, indicating this slide is not following the normal order of the slides in the playlist. The last thing we should check out is the slide stash. Grab any of your slides and stash them here to save them for later or to use them in other playlists. You can stash slides here, remove them from your playlist overview, and then use them at a later time. Thank you for watching.